what the head of state should do and the former head of state. Yeah, let's get do. to uh, uh, obviously uh, the, the, the the huge topic, um, Mr. Kachinda, political democratic space. Um, you as opposition political parties have had um, a press briefing. Uh, you organized yourselves and you had a press briefing while you alleged that the democratic space is shrinking under the UPN government. Is this something that you still stand by? And why do you think uh, this democratic space is, shrink is uh, shrinking? Uh, there, first of all, it's a must that we have uh, um, a problem in this country mm -hmm. in that regard, and it needs to be solved. The UPND have found a way to put a machinery um, uh, that is working and co collaborating with UPND cadres. The, the Patriotic Front cadres were irritating mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that uh, they were all over on the streets making noise and so on. And, sometimes people. and uh, making noise and so mm -hmm. on at bus station. Mm -hmm. But the UPND cadres mm -hmm. are brutalizing and maiming people um, in a, a well orchestrated criminal manner. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And uh, I am, for example, an example uh, uh, on how. Several times, uh, there has been an attempt uh, on on my life. Mm -hmm. The other private uh, engagements have highlighted before, but let me give you classical examples. I was appearing before court, the magistrate court here, and UPND card as led by uh, provincial officials here in Osaka mm -hmm. came to the court premises. You know, crowded the court. At the time that we're getting into the court, I was harassed, and the, the police were helpless. Uh, colleagues you were harassed that, by cadres. By cadres, UPND cadres. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other uh, colleagues that escorted me were equally brutalized and harassed in the courts. The major said calls. Mm -hmm. I had to escape through, you know, other means. I rescued through other means, tunnels that led to uh, the cells, and then you know, move. When they saw that they couldn't uh, lynch me in court, they went outside there and started making pronouncements that no, we came here to give solidarity to the president. And solidarity to the president is to come and, uh, you know, as, you know, assault if not lynch people in court. It has never happened under Patriot Front. Neither has it ever happened under MMD that people would even threaten uh, the courts. And then on top of that, they make pronouncements and say, "We want all major cities here to be transferred." Mm -hmm. What followed? Two, three days later, all major cities were transferred from Osaka to other parts of the country. Then Ms. Saka and Dechirama is telling the Zaman people, Qatarism has ended at the Amazon. I mean, those are fantastic lies. We went to a by-election in, in Petahoke, to which I was campaign manager in Los Angeles. Our candidate, who was uh, supposed to file in nomination, because the UPND were threatened, and they had attempted to compromise this individual in many ways from state house. Mm -hmm. Again, like, and these are matters that have been presented to court from state house. Then uh, they decide to use the police. The police working together with UPN decaders. The videos are there. I was almost being killed in Sangat. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kain Dechrem is saying the cadarism has ended. Look at what happened to Fred Membe in Mukoshi. Look at what happened to Patriotic Front when we were fighting in nominations during the council chairperson in Mkosi. Mm -hmm. Look at what was happening in, in Ochilabombe during that local government by-election. Look at what almost happened, I mean, uh, we were almost killed in Kabushi the day Honorable Sambo was uh, fighting in nominations. Cadres led by ministers, uh, some ministers, following us up to a filling station, wanting to 
natures. So this uh, story of suggesting that uh, cadres have stopped under UPND, the only thing is that the cadres of, of PF, which we actually are working on in the branding, mm-hmm. they were where the Boston wearing if Marigari affair to America, Shanoko, and so on. And it was irritating people because you, you find that you're driving into town and you find a huge crowd of cadres. They are peaceful. They are not beating anyone. But just that inconvenience of delaying traffic, people got fed up. Mm-hmm. But these people are not... And also see, reports of harassing uh, uh, the Zambians. There were several uh, reports of the, uh, the uh, harassment. The harassment of the cadres. The and kula sunka sunka bantu no fuma caution that kind. Mm-hmm. But the UPND cadres, wakonka bantu munyumba. You understand what I'm saying? They are operating like criminals, beating people, abducting people in the name of politics. Yesterday we escorted the um, uh, honorable GPM at the SC, SCC. SCC. Mm-hmm. Within a short period of us being there to give solidarity to a colleague. You understand? Hmm. I had to be, rest, you know, whisked out of that place. If uh, uh, some police officers who were near, uh, who were near, did not uh, act swiftly, today you would have possibly not had a guest here. And they came clearly to eliminate. And these are not playing. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you that where we're going, if you don't pay attention, because mm-hmm. I'm you are going to lose colleagues in terms of losing their lives. This is the first time we've had a political party in opposition uh, at the time that was even willing to engage with the police in terms of violent engagement. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the, at some point where, where people have um, forgotten, the narrative was suggested that under President Lungu, the police were brutal. People have not examined the conduct of the opposition at the time. Mm-hmm. But us were being brutalized without even when we were willing to cooperate. Imagine Ambassador Mamba, one of the senior diplomats we have in this country. Instead of just sending a call out to have him appear before the police, the police with the, some cadres follow him at a car wash and go and brutalize him there. Yep. You understand? Yeah, we so don't, don't you think that are, that is something? That, yeah, but then also some of these allegations that you're making I, are very serious. Have you had time maybe to report to the police, I mean, especially when Ambassador you choose to, to threaten your life? Ambas- I mean, I've reported. I've mm-hmm. written to the IG uh, several times. So I've even named individuals that have been uh, brutalized in that manner mm-hmm. and uh, and attempted to do that to you know not only my life, the lives of other people. Mm-hmm. They are people like uh, uh, Lizwan who was abducted from Betaok, mm-hmm. brought here, brutalized by the police, of course, uh, operating with some cadres. Today, we are having cadres who are masquerading as police officers. And they are aided to do some of these things. Mm-hmm. Then they take him to go and they start threatening that they are going to, to kill him. They start firing gunshots you know, over his head while they have covered him with a with a head sock. What kind of, you know, uh, country are we in? Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The, the young boy, Andy, and uh, the other one, Thompson Peel, these are boys that could have possibly just uh, sent a call out to appear. And patriotic front, because of the fact that we are confident we have not committed any crime, we are willing and we have always been willing to cooperate yeah. with the police. Okay, uh, because... Why the police has decided to start being brutal is this. Yeah. Whenever they arrest us, mm-hmm. and of course in the process they don't they refuse to give us bond, we have to go to the high court, apply for abas corpus and all these uh, applications for us to get out, to enjoy our rights and freedoms as uh, provided for in the law. The Mr. Aka in the HLMA begins to, you know, um, instruct the police. Why are you allow them to be released? But in the public, he says, I want them to be given bond. Is anyone who is arrested, give them bond within two, two, 48 hours. Mm-hmm. But he's giving a different instruction to the police. And that is what has given the police the impetus to start brutalizing, particularly patriotic front uh, uh, members. members. All right. Uh, now, this, uh, uh, you know, You've also strongly linked this to the um, what you have alleged as a patriotic front, the alleged uh, prosecution of the first uh, of the former first family um, 
uh, of the f- uh, uh, former first family mm. uh, you have linked that there's you you've linked these allegations that there's been so much uh, persecution in as far as the family of the former head of state is concerned mm. but why do you think um, uh, that is the case because these investigative wings have been very very clear to say um, if we suspect that those uh, you know uh, that those corruption involved if we do suspect that there are links to maybe proceeds of crime, it does not matter who the person is, but we'll go for that person. But in a situation of maybe just to take you to uh, two days ago when Dalisolungu was arrested, um, uh, the former head of state's son, um, the allegations of proceeds of crime there. Listen. How have you linked that to prosecution to, you know, the former head of state. Listen, when you hear the kind of talk that is coming from the police, mm-hmm. an IG today, when we have a police service, should be saying we're going to use minimum force. <laughs> that language is the only language in a police state. Mm-hmm. Two, this business of saying, if we suspect that there's an allegation, we're going to go for that person. What do they mean? Regardless of who it is. What do they mean when they say we're going to go for that person? Is it going to grind the gate at the former residence, at the former president's residence? Mm-hmm. Is that they going after those people? Is, is there no way in a civilized democracy and the governance system where you know those who uh, they suspect could have uh, committed an, an offense because? We operate under the principle of being innocent and being proven guilty. Yeah. The police have no right to take away my freedom. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have no right to abuse me and to abuse my family. What the police are doing nowadays to get into people's homes uh, in the name of wanting to go and search and so on without any inquiry on what they're looking for is an abuse. You know, the inquiries must be uh, undertaken in a manner that uh, does not violate people's rights and people's freedom. So, my, my brother, mm-hmm. can you justify the sending of constables and all these uh, police officers to the residence of the former president mm-hmm. before, for example, the first lady is even given an opportunity to, you know, interface with the law enforcement agencies on the issues that they are lo- looking for? By simply sending a call out. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. You send a battalion at the residence of the former president with instructions that if you are not permitted mm-hmm. to um, uh, to get in, break the wall, grind down the, the what you call the, the gate, mm-hmm. and Zambians can justify in the name of saying they suspect there's something uh, wrong that has been uh, may have been committed. Yeah, I, I remember um, what you call, I think it was Rambo Kavindere who said that uh, at some point he had said something which uh, you know got the, the attention or attracted the attention of uh, the police. Mm-hmm. But when they were sending and taking a call out to him and Rambo Anderson Mazoka, by virtue of their status. Anderson Mazoka was basically a, a, an opposition leader. Mm-hmm. Um, and Mr. Honorable Kavindere uh, was actually a former vice president. When they were taking a call out, the current IG was a senior police officer. Mm-hmm. He's the one who the center asked to go and take a call, call out. Why? Because under the government then, they also acknowledge that these are senior citizens who have served the country at a certain level. Yep. There must be some respect and the protocol. Because after all, you are just investigating. Mm-hmm. You respectfully you know, ask somebody to come and appear. Yep. What would have been wrong to go to the former president to the uh, call out by a senior you know, police officer mm-hmm. and say respectfully we need the you know, former first, um, uh, first lady first to lady. come and... Uh, you know, we're doing an inquiry and so on, okay. without even attracting any El Abalu. Okay. And answers would have been provided. Okay. But that whole drama is meant to, you know, push a narrative that the 
uh, President Lungu must have done certain things wrong when he was uh, you know, in, in state house. The harassment of his son, Dariso, that you referred to. Dariso, uh, <laughs> the father was president. This young man was uh, working for ZRA. When the father became president, he said, no, I don't think uh, I can continue uh, working. Obviously, circumstances, you know, a former uh, president's son and so on. So it put him in an awkward position and looked like if he does a perform well, is commended for promotion or anything of that sort. No, it's because the father is president. Mm -hmm. So he opted to leave uh, that uh, post he had at Zedara and just leave away from all that controversy and do business. And the father, of course, supported him. I, I was even joking yesterday uh, telling the, uh, the former president and other colleagues to say, I think Umay Chowani to eliminate our president. Ngari konga other presidents should not go. Ngawa pele indara makuru wa wishi. Why anu ina kuma Dubai? Anu ina konso kuba ista kono fiya wele wele. Ero wa wele kono they just become junks because maybe that's what people yeah. expected. Maybe just but the mere fact that this uh, well, young man went. The the, the, the UPN the mere fact the UPN are saying look, it's not any persecution. But if you are being summoned to SEC, go there and answer the questions, and that's it. So there's no any form of uh, persecution. This is what the UPND is saying. But, but in, I'm uh, elaborating to you mm -hmm. because we live in the same environment. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. Mm -hmm. The local Isanguama statements which are coming out that, for example, Tassila and the husband, Barukwata fish pond, Oma fish pond, fish pond, Yakuya Tutuwa Senda, Avanti Pakaringa Ringapa, Wayaku Imbira, Wabika Manasma Prasi, Fab Brown, Wabika Manesabi. At the costing value that 13 million. This is the idea of the Abamuria. Yeah, go deep, Miss Ujra IT, and I'm going to be this of the Amsagoshan. Now, even in the Katako to my to my Sabine, you know, soon it doesn't even take more than you know, 1,500 to 2,000 quarter to just put up a reasonable fish pond. People, manual work can be done, even if it's paid to a cool. You put you know the necessary whatever. Necessary why I study in three thousand kwacha wabik. One man of Kusunga You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Within a ten thousand kwacha, you can actually have a reasonable fish pond. Okay. But because it involves the family of the former president, mm -hmm. it is exaggerated to try and create alarm in the minds of uh, Zambians that uh, these people how in the Ramasha Sharif Marquis, exaggerating thing. Which basically were a, a, a product of an agreement between um, the first lady and the people who misappropriated her funds. Tuma Adshan, Ali Katrika Tuma Aliono, Tuma Adshan to Tuma Moto, but no, no. That's the, all that drama to just go and collect. That's how come each other okay, let's, 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 let's get some interventions starting with Facebook. Uh, okay. Sam Tembo says, Good morning. You want to come back and do what, honestly? You are blaming the people who um, came out to celebrate the debt restructuring, yet it is you, the PF, who got us where we are with this huge debt. This is coming through from uh, Sam Temple. Thank you so much. Uh, Peter Mwanga says, good morning. So can you say you developed the country while, you, you, while you've left uh, billions of debt? If your borrowing was reasonable, why did we default? This is uh, coming through from Peter Mwanga. Thank you so much, Peter. Smart uh, says, good morning. Uh, the reason why people are no longer listening to such guests is because they come to contradict everything uh, the government in power is doing. To them, everything is a mistake, and they compare with the PF. This is coming through from uh, Smart. Mm. Uh, let me just get some um, uh, uh, text messages that we do have before we officially open the phone lines. Okay, just having a like a challenge. Okay. Uh, this one says, uh, good morning. Um, why did we remove PF in power? Who were telling HH H -H to get a police when visiting uh, the same churches? Uh, even the campaigning, he was blocked. Yet the PF is dreaming that we are rebranding with the same people who made the party to lose power. This is coming through from Sakala. Then this one says, good morning, Mr. Nakachinda. Are you among those who are aspiring to take the leadership of the Patriotic Front? This is uh, Humphrey. Uh, let's just check with our WhatsApp. Um, 
Uh, this one says, good morning, Mr. Nakachinda. The PF will never bounce back in power, not, not under this life. We haven't forgotten what the PF did to us as Zambians, but we shall never forget. Okay. Uh, then this one says, um, this is, comes through from Andres, says, so has President ECL retired from active politics or is still in politics? Why do you think the UPND are scared of ECL? Who lost to them by 1 million votes? This is coming through from um, Andres. Thank you so much, Andres. I think you can respond to this before we, we get uh, calls. Yeah. So somebody talked about uh, blaming those who were celebrating. First of all, those who were celebrating were arranged and organized by UPND. And uh, after being organized and arranged by UPND, they didn't even fulfill part of their bargain for getting them to the airport to go and celebrate. Mm -hmm. You saw, you know, cadres of UPND uh, fighting at the uh, party secretariat over 50 quarters that were promised to be paid to go and celebrate the president to create an impression that people are very happy mm -hmm. about uh, something that hasn't even been uh, actualized and quantified in terms of what benefit to bring to the Zambian people. Um, <laughs> for the first time in 30 years, we had civil servants being bust to go and do like it used to be under one party state, so can I, so can I, uh, to present Aga in the HR. This man is living in ancient times. Mm -hmm. We are in a multi party democracy where uh, uh, the party and the government are separated. Mm -hmm. The activities at the airport where, you know, political activities, you don't expect civil servants now to start lining up. Pupils being passed to go and line up. If you fetch a ticket, I don't know how old you are, but uh, uh, those were happening during Kaunda's time. Gaba Kaunda Varesa Kunokum, then the Rayon Summer School Quisala, then the Mayapam Sevo Murech, that is Sokone, 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 because the, your headmaster, first of all, he is the part of the political party. He is a, either secretary or chairman of a branch or what or something like that. So, and the traditional leaders were members of, you know, Central Committee, MCCs. And uh, and all that it was a government, you know, the party and this government. Mm -hmm. But the, that we resisted and fought for the introduction of multi-party democracy, and we separated government from political parties. And therefore, a politician like Mr. Aka in the HLM, who is privileged to be president, when he wants to undertake political activities, he should do not involve civil servants. Mm -hmm. Today we are having an association of head teachers going to the airport to go and receive the president. What nonsense is that? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Nakashina, you have to be very quick in your uh, yeah. So uh, that, because you have to get calls. So civil servants, you are talking about uh, church. Somebody mentioned about church. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, patriotic front. We respected the church, mm -hmm. and uh, there is no record, you know, during the time that we were in government for any of the officers ridiculing church leaders. Yeah. Today, under UPND, um, the Secretary General of Patriotic Front, on behalf of the president, addressed the nation, started calling bishops and archbishops, lucifers, priests, lucifers, something that is abominable to do. I mean, uh, obviously, being Christian voice, the constituency that, um, and the audience that you have mainly are those who profess our faith as Christians. I don't think such uh, practices must be encouraged. Okay. I mean, there's need for us to reverence and respect sacred, um, you know, uh, things, especially those also uh, have divinely privilege to save um, in the sacred office of uh, a minister of the gospel, either by a, whether it's a priest, a bishop, or archbishop, or whatever title they hold. But the attitude that the government of the day is exhibiting towards the church is actually eroding the fear of God. Okay. And the moment the fear of God you know, you know, um, uh, erodes in a society, yeah. what you introduce is actually wickedness. Barbaric. For the first time in the history of this country, we're having those who are practicing homosexuality and the gayism and so on, you know, protesting, protected by the police. And we have asked this government what their stance is, and they have been elusive. We need to have our eyes opened. There is um, an advancement that would want to have our society perversed and begin to practice abominable practices, and we should say no to those things. Okay, Our respect and reverence to the church as part yeah. of front is very clear. Okay, let's get uh, some calls, uh, Mr. Uh, Kachinda. Good morning, you're uh, to your program. Good morning. Your name, and where you calling, uh, your name and where you calling us from? This is Dr. Proud from Uganda. Dr. Proud, under 30 seconds, you can uh, go ahead with the contribution. 
As a member for you, PND, we are listening whatever Honorable Nakachida is talking in, is in water. That man and his president, the Galungu, they were killing us, the UPND, they have killed in the daytime of Sama Sama. They have been appointed to Frank Clary, that point. When you say yesterday you waited to be seen, have we ever seen any gun being shot at you, Honorable Nakachida? You need to grow up. With all these constitutions of Kukuchi, Tony Branding is a caretaker president, that is the president for PF, which is worth your time, Obama. That is the fact we want to be with you, Navarungu Mulete, my president, for the Mulashita during your time. You and the Navarungu Mulete, Samazamoli, during your time. Navarungu Mulete, Mutuamele, Mabala, Mabalu, 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 all right, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Proud. All right, thank you so much uh, for coming through. Let's uh, keep our submissions very, very um, short within 30 seconds. If you're able to, to have your submission within uh, those seconds, I think so that we allow uh, people to come through. Good morning, I'm through to your program. Yes, good morning, sir. How are you? Very well. Your name and where are you calling us from? This is Andrew. I'm calling in from Wondola. All right, under 30 seconds, you can go ahead with the contribution. Thank you very much. Good morning, Miss Andrew. Yes. Uh, well, first and mostly, we were betrayed as Zambians by PF. Mm. When PF won in a 2011 to Adisana, we danced. But what happened was unfortunate. The youths were both recognized as tools of violence. Today, you PNC, youths are going for skills training, bankers, forming cooperatives. They are no longer playing with bankers. But forming companies to empower themselves, better themselves. I can move with the t shirt, TPF t shirt, no one will harass me. I can move with the UPND t shirt, no one will harass me. If you are suspected that now Bango Blood, you just go to court, prove yourself innocent. Me, I don't know my Teddy Sopanda, I don't know how Madame Pepe, former president, acquired those words. I'm also looking forward for them to be accelerated or the court seat to see if these actors were betrayed. Me, what I'm for is for the rule of law. Mm -hmm. And this, this president, is that what he's advocating for? Okay. So far, this president hasn't seen, he doesn't lie to us. What he says comes to pass. So, my brother, we are not against you, but we are against the things which you did, how you betrayed us. Okay. We want to see a better PF. All right. For Think the future. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Andrew, for coming through this morning.